this is Stampy and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is a video inside of my lovely world! Woo! 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 Right, that's enough of that. I'm starting to feel a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Did you see that pig up there? That pig has been there for so long. There, just stuck. You know what? In a minute, I'm going to go and help that pig out because he's been stuck on that mountain for absolutely ages. But before I do that, I need to get my energy up for such a, a daring rescue. I need to have full energy. And for that, I am going to need a cake. So can I have my cake, please, Lee? Can I? Oh, stop teasing me. Stop teasing me. There we go. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. There you go, Lee. You can have the rest. <laughs> I'm also in this video going to be joined by my good friend, Mr. I Ballistic Squid, uh, who I believe right now is hurriedly uh, trying to tidy up his house because I'm going to go there in a minute and show off. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's saving the pig. He's doing a heroic rescue. What's he doing? Oh, no, no, don't, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him, Squid. You need to help him down. No. <laughs> oh, look, you saved him. You saved him, Squid, by punching Punching him off. I don't know. Lee's going after Squid. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Pig, oh, he looks terrified. I think he's trying to get back up. He's trying to get back up. I think he liked it up there. <laughs> I don't think he knows what to do. He's been up there for weeks and so now he's come back down. He has no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's my good deed for the day. And Lee, come on. I know he hurt the pig, but that was a bit harsh. <laughs> now the pig runs over to try and loot all of Squid's stuff. Anyway, uh, there's a reason I came over here. Uh, saving the pig was one of them. Uh, the other one uh, was to shout someone out and add them to my love garden. And today I am adding the legendary Neuropsych, uh, who is the person who built the um, the Beetlejuice roller coaster. And he's very recently re uh, re uh, released a new one, uh, which is themed around the Nightmare Before Christmas. And uh, the reason why I'm uh, adding him to my love garden is because me and Squid uh, actually built a house inside of the roller coaster. And we kind of thought that he was going to destroy it and not actually use it in the video. Uh, but he actually left it in. And so if you go and watch the uh, the video, uh, you can see a small little house that me and Squid built. And it's also my proudest stamping. Hello, Squid. <laughs> you can see him there through the glass. It's also my proudest moment uh, where I've stampied someone's world because uh, I actually left a cake in there. And he never destroyed it. And he left it in the video, which I thought uh, was absolutely awesome. So thank you, Neuropsych, uh, for doing that. And welcome to my love garden. And as always, by the way, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the full video. And wait a minute. Where, where are all my dogs? Where have all the dogs gone? Huh? <laughs> well, doggies? Hello? Has, has anyone seen my dogs? Um... What? I have not taken them out. Have I taken them out somewhere? Have I left them somewhere? Are they, are they, are they at the dog assault course or something? Like, all of my dogs are just... gone. Um... Okay, I'm gonna go see if Fluffy's over in the doghouse. Have you seen any of my dogs? Do you have any idea where they are, Lee? Because I don't have a clue. <laughs> anyway, while I'm here, um, seeing as uh, this sort of doubles up as Squid's house and the dog's house, I'm gonna go and check it out. Now, here we go. Uh, he's, he's gone for a very watery theme, I see. I suppose it does make sense, seeing as he's Squid. Uh, there's a little a little platform down here so he can uh, dip his tentacles in the water. And uh, what's down here? Oh, he's building all this as his room. Look, he's building all walls up round here. He's making this as his nice little room down here oh this is quite cool he's obviously in the uh, the early stages of development but uh, this could be a, a quite a nice little funky room down here seeing as I did uh, kick him out of my house a while ago <laughs> and I can see here he is this is his preferred route for getting into the house he doesn't use the door like uh, the bears and cats do he always goes and swims through the water look at him he's having a whale of a time have you two made up are you two friends now after your fiasco at the beginning of the game? Come on, kiss and make up, kiss and make up. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have actually got some, some work that we need to do today. I also want to find out where my dogs are. I honestly have zero idea where they've all disappeared to. That's a bit weird. I was going to be sad not having a dog with me. At least I've got Lee. At least I've got Lee Bear to, to keep me company throughout the video. And I'm going to quickly head over to my uh, Pick a Pet Pet Shop and uh, see if Fluffy's hanging out in there. Because that's where uh, Fluffy normally hangs out. She doesn't normally uh, stay with all of the uh, the other dogs. Uh, hopefully she's here. My chickens are here. The pigs are there. And Fluffy's not here. I don't know. where, where Where's Fluffy gone to then? Where's every single dog gone to? This is a little bit weird. I'm thinking I must have like, I must have taken them all out somewhere and told them all to sit down and then completely forgot where I took them. Oh, also, 
Uh, that house there, you may remember in my last video, uh, I was joined by Faithless Angel, uh, but she sort of disappeared throughout almost the entire video. Uh, that's because she was busily working away uh, on her fishing lodge, which is over here. And uh, seeing as we're going around touring everyone's houses, I feel like I'm an estate agent. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to sell all these houses to you. Yeah, this is uh, Faithless Angel's fishing cabin, uh, which looks pretty awesome. I kind of like the way she's built it over the water as well, kind of like squid. And um, yeah, I've not actually looked inside of it yet. She's got uh, lots of furniture. And a bit of an attic up here, oh, a couple of beds, and uh, yeah, a few of her belongings in there. So yeah, this is a uh, Faithless Angel's house, quite nice. And uh, out here, uh, this is her fishing ledge, so she can go out here with a fishing rod. Does she have one anywhere in the house? Um, I don't actually see if there's any in the chest. But yeah, she'll basically be here uh, fishing away, maybe trying to catch a squid or something. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's quite a lot of um, new additions going up in my lovely world. And uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is uh, hopefully... Fingers crossed, everybody. Finally finishing uh, my flower power mini game, and uh, we did pretty good progress in the last video. But because me and Lee are absolute numpties, <laughs> we found out that we were almost building the entire thing wrong. And uh, if you put a sign down over at the uh, the flower power game squid, and then I'll, I'll read it over there because we've got lots to do. I've already wasted uh, about six minutes <laughs> just wandering around doing nothing before I got started. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, in the in the last video we were building our flower power game, and we didn't realise that we did it all completely wrong. Yay! <laughs> Only Stampy Long Nose could do something like that. Basically, we completely got wrong uh, where the, the middle of the game was. Uh, we kind of based... Actually, let me just have a quick look. Are there any dogs in here? No, there's not. It's a bit of a doggy ghost town at the moment. Uh, yeah, we didn't realise that uh, we were basing it all on the pattern on the floor and uh, not actually the middle. And so we had to destroy and rebuild uh, a lot of what we did in the last video. Uh, we kept some of it, some of the paths and that we did manage to keep, but we had to rebuild a lot of it. But I think we did it even better. And so as you can see here, we've added a whole load more walkways. There's a big old massive tree which we've decorated at the top. We had to completely rebuild that. Uh, these walkways and stuff are pretty much the same. And yeah, this is this is kind of how the layout is going to be. Uh, this is how you get up to the tower. Uh, where the dirt is with the torches uh, is where the flowers are going to eventually be. Uh, we've added some some ladders there and uh, yeah, we've also added the uh, the proper pattern on the floor. So it's the uh, the combination between the uh, the spruce and the uh, the birchwood. <laughs> so what we need to do now is add uh, a few more flowers around the place which will uh, be cover and also a little underground tunnel down here. And I think I might uh, start off doing that because that might take the longest. And the plan is uh, by the end of the video uh, to have it completed enough uh, so me and Lee can have a little bit of a practice warm-up 1v1 game. And then in the next video, uh, we're going to have the uh, the official tournament. And let's see what Squid's got to say. Um, he's got to say, waiting approval, waiting approval, waiting approval, awaiting approval. Oh, here we go. All the dogs in Finball's kingdom disappeared too. Really? Or is there some sort of glitch or something? Oh, that's not like every single dog? Surely I've not lost every single dog altogether. Right, I, I, I'm not believing this. I'm going to go on a dog hunt after this video. And I'm going to track down my dog. They wouldn't all desert me. Maybe there's something we don't know about. Maybe, like once every year, all of the dogs from all of the different Minecraft worlds have like a little get together. And they all go and meet up and have like a doggy disco or something. And then they all <laughs> have a big dance together. That's crazy. Just every dog's gone. They were here like yesterday or something. Like I was on this world like the other day. And all of the dogs were here and they were fine. And now I load it up and they've all just gone. Have any of you heard anything about this? Is like, is it true? Do the dogs disappear? Maybe they have all just gone on like doggy holiday or something. Uh, <laughs> just need to wait for that that sign to load in again. Uh, signs always load in really uh, slowly in my world because uh, my love garden is full of so many signs. They always uh, load in really slow. What does this say over here? Uh, the new update glitched it. Well, that's no good, is it? Well, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna believe that. I'm gonna believe that they've all gone for a big doggy disco somewhere, and that they're all having a good time, and uh, they're gonna be back soon, and they're all have gone on holiday. They're all gonna have like suntan and have sunglasses, and uh, they just wanted to go and chill out and unwind for a bit, you know. It's gonna be stressful being a dog inside of Stampy's lovely world, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, this is basically just gonna be a, a tiny little underground bit down here. Um, I'm not sure how low I'm gonna do it, uh, but what I do need to do is go and uh, make some some stairs and stuff. I think I might have it three blocks down. So if that was a stair there, stair there, and stair there. Yeah, so if we go one more down, and then this will be where the floor is. And down in this little uh, in cove down here, uh, there's going to be two flowers. And so if you're not sure how to play the game, I know I've explained it a lot of times, but I normally uh, explain it really badly. And um, the aim of the game is to go around this um, little arena and gather up as many flowers as you can. Once you've got uh, four of um, your colour flower, 
uh, then you've got to go and put them all on the top of your base. And uh, the first person to do that wins. And uh, me and Lee are going to have a little game of it. And Squid is going to be the judge. And he's going to be in charge of... Um, uh, yeah, when someone wins. I think I think Squid's got uh, another sign for me to say. <laughs> um, nice hole. Oh, thank you very much, Squid. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you like it. I spent a lot of time on it, and <laughs> it's not perfect yet, but I'm still working on it. <laughs> right, so yeah, this is just going to be... I think I'm going to do what I did in the last video, and just do it all with spruce wood. And uh, then when I get... Um, yeah, if I have enough time, I'm going to decorate it like the way I've done the uh, the rest of the place. But I'm getting pretty hungry now, to be honest. Uh, I feel like uh, I'm probably ready for, for my lunch if you've got any uh, cake in your pocket. I swear Lee just wanders around the whole time with just cakes upon cakes in his pockets. Just all like flat packed together, you know, like just add water. And don't stand on it. Don't stand on my lunch, Squid. And Squid ate half of it. <laughs> Lee's there being super helpful. And then there we go. Look, I got, I got some spare cake. I told you he's just got loads of cakes all over the place. Right, if I put a crafting table up here, I'm going to go and make some uh, some more spruce wood planks. <laughs> I just love saying, I'm just finding as many situations where I can like say spruce, you know. I just love it so much. Right, and then I'm going to do a whole load of staircases as well and uh, these is these are going to be the way uh, how you get down so uh, i guess if they start uh, from about here will be okay and then if i break away uh, the ground here and then this will be your way down then it's all going to link up this way as well uh, to a tunnel in this direction so if i go like that and then do some stairs there and then like the whole place is all going to be linked up and so it's going to be like this is going to be quite a dangerous place to go because you're sort of uh, stuck down low and uh, you generally want to stay on the high ground so uh, these are probably going to be the uh, the last flowers that that people go for so uh, these are going to go along the entire way here and uh, what we're going to need to also do in a minute uh, not quite now oh, sorry Lee, i didn't mean to fire an arrow at you yeah what we're gonna have to do in a minute is uh, go to bed and set our spawns uh, let me just read what this sign says spruce wood <laughs> thank you so thank you thank you for giving me another opportunity to say spruce. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I just really like the word spruce. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, once we've done this, uh, the other thing I need to do uh, before the end of the video is to build the big massive flowers. And uh, they're going to serve two purposes. One as cover when you're getting out the base. And uh, also you can jump across them. And so you'll be able to jump from like up there uh, onto the uh, the top of the plants. Uh, but it will be quite difficult. Well, for some people it might be easy. But for me, seeing as I'm uh, so awful at doing parkour, uh, it will be very difficult. So um, yeah, once I've done them, and then we can just go and have our little tester game. And uh, the next video is going to be the proper tournament. That's going to be when it's it's going to be serious. That's when we're going to have a um uh, like a prize or something for the winner or a forfeit for the loser sometimes more fun. But uh, we're going to have a little quick tester with me and Lee uh, just to make sure that the game all works okay. And mainly just to have fun as well to be honest. Because <laughs> I think it will be jolly good fun. You know, it's always rewarding like when you spend so much time like I have on this building. And then like the first time you get to just play it and do like what it's built for. Uh, that is always the, the best time. And uh, yeah, we've, we've almost built this uh, little tunnel bit down here. And something we're going to have to do is go around and try and get a whole load of flowers uh, so we can start filling these places in but uh, at the moment it still looks kind of ugly around here I need to uh, get rid of this and do some walls actually I think I might have the the wall about here and uh, I'm going to continue the uh, the stripe pattern uh, so it's going to be uh, the birch and the spruce <laughs> wood pattern the whole way through <laughs> yeah so I'm just going to go and try and fill a bunch of this in actually if I leave you to try and fill this area in Lee just all the walls like places like this uh, I might go and start on some of the uh, the big flowers and uh, it's going to be consistent with oh why is there a random chest down here <laughs> right in like the middle of the area yeah so it's going to be consistent with uh, the uh, color scheme so this is going to be the the red lovely jobly side and then the other side is going to be the uh, the sun kiss side so um i've got some actually i haven't got any on me i'm going to have to quickly run out here and uh, go and grab some uh, colored wool oh, no 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 squid squid don't don't why didn't you look where you're going oh there's another one there's another one squid watch out watch out there's another creeper right i've got him i've got him and a zombie friend <laughs> Oh dear, right. Well, we've got some, some other work to do down here as well. We've got some, some patch-up work. That's not too bad. That hasn't destroyed too much. It set us back slightly, uh, but we should be okay. Right, if I grab some, some green, yellow, black, and white, uh, then I can start building them. I'm going to very quickly just try and patch this bit in here. It hasn't destroyed too. That could have been worse. It's just annoying when it destroys glass. I always just hate glass being destroyed. <laughs> and the second that squid saw some water, he just darted straight back in there. <laughs> straight back into his favourite place right so yeah if someone tries to patch that up now i'm going to go and start trying to build the uh the massive flowers that are going to be in the middle of the game um so 
I think there's going to be two, and there's going to be one around about here, and I'm not entirely sure how high to make it, but it needs to be possible for you to jump onto the base there, and I'm going to do it so it goes slightly forward. So these need to be red. I'm going to do these red and black, uh, so they're going to kind of look a bit like poppies, and so I'm going to do that can be the middle bit there, and then I can have that bit there, there, and uh, if I get some more red wool... Uh, there, there we go, and then I can go and do one underneath, and that kind of looks like a bit of like a nice little flower, and then if I do another one uh, around about um, here maybe, uh, then you should hopefully uh, be able to jump across them, I think if I do it like here maybe, and I'm going to try and make it so it's the, the same height as the other one, and then I'm going to do a very quick test just to see if I can uh, jump from one to the other, actually I think that might be one too high, if I try it from about here, then go and add the uh, the same petals on, and then I'm going to have a quick tester to see if it is possible to jump uh, across, because I'm not entirely sure, like, I'm the worst person to test because I'm so bad at parkour, like, what I can do and what other people can do are different, but this should be about okay, so you jump onto here, and then you should be able to jump from there to there? I'm not sure if you can, I think I might have done this one uh, one too low, actually, so let me just go and uh, raise this one up one more, and then Squid, seeing as you're quite good at parkour, do you want to be the, uh, the tester to see if it's uh, possible to jump across? And then once I go and build the um, uh, the same on the other side, uh, me and Lee can have our game. And as I said, Squid's going to be the adjudicator, and uh, the way he's going to say uh, who won is uh, by belly dancing in front of uh, whoever lost, you know, because I have added the uh, the redstone torches, which um, allow you to light it up, but uh, it's, it's always, like, not, like, particularly clear, like, when someone wins. And there we go, Squid's doing a, a little tester. So this, see if you can jump onto the top of the plant pot from there. So jump to the other flower if you can, and then see if you can get on top of the uh, the plant pot. Oh, he's done it. He's like, yeah, there we go. So instead of having to run around the hole outside, you could jump to here and then go and jump across and then jump up here. And if you got good, so you could do that really quick, and then you could go like, boo, 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 then straight across. But as I said, uh, I'm absolutely rubbish, so I can't do that. Right, so I need to try and do exactly the same on the other side. I might use lime green wall. So it's one, two, three, four away uh, from the end of that ladder. And so if I go and do the same here, so one two, three, four. So that one goes there. Then I think the other one goes there. And I'm not entirely sure how high they were. Let me just go and quickly check how high they are. And then quickly before it goes to bed, uh, me and Lee, uh, before it becomes day, sorry, me and Lee are going to have a quick sleep. And then we can play the games. So this goes one, two, three, four, five, six high there. And so I need to go six high on the other side as well. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. And then I think I'm going to use uh, white and uh, yellow for this one, just to make it look a little bit different. Like, I want it to be, like, within the yellow and red, but they don't have to look exactly the same. And then, yeah, so this way you'll be able to do the uh, the same on this side. Then I'm going to quickly check and see how well Lee's been doing. And then hopefully we can go to sleep and start our game. I want to be careful, actually. I keep dropping off things. and I, I keep realising that I'm really hurting myself. And I think I built this in the wrong place, actually. Um, oh, no, I know what I've done. I've built this one too far backwards. Uh, this one's supposed to go uh, here, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. Then that bit goes like that. I'm getting quite fast at doing this now, though. I'm getting uh, quite good at speed building the flowers. If only um, I could do that in the video the other day. When, oh, sorry, Squid. Uh, when I was trying to have the uh, the competition with Lee to, to build a flower quickly. Right, I'm going to have something to eat quick uh, because cause I keep dropping off things. I've been really hurting myself. Uh, build the uh, the final flower and uh, then, then we should be sorted and ready to go. Uh, how are we doing for days? Has it become day yet? No, we're okay. Uh, so this one goes here, I believe, and goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, then I do the uh, piece of... Uh, white wool comes out here, and then Lee, if you want to go and sleep, oh we, oh, we need to sleep really quickly now. We need to sleep straight away, Lee. Lee, go, 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 sleep in the um the red side. I need to sleep in the yellow slide. Quick, run, run, Lee, run, Lee, run, Lee. We just need to set our spawn as quick as we can because it's coming day. And this way, if we get killed, uh, then we're gonna spawn in the right place. And so you just need to lie in bed for uh, two seconds. So there we go. I've managed to to set my spawn. Uh, hopefully, there we go. Lee's gone to bed as well. Right? There's no creepers, are there? Or oh, there's one hiding in the distance. I think he's far enough away. And then what we need to do is we need to dump. Uh, all of our stuff into here and uh, then we then we're able to to begin the game the, the first proper test of the game hopefully lee was a uh, line in bed for a uh, long enough to uh, to set his spawn i'm gonna very quickly uh, just go and finish off this this last final flower and uh, try and make sure there's not uh, too many obstacles like there's just random crafting tables and stuff all over the arena which might be getting in the way <laughs> and then we can then we can go and have the first game and oh, this looks pretty awesome down here uh, something else we need to do actually we need to put all the um we need to put all the uh, the flowers and why is there a random chest in the middle right we're just gonna 
going to leave that there for now. And I'm going to go and grab some some flowers. And oh no, oh no, there's a skeleton. I've got nothing on me. <laughs> right, I'm going to grab a bow and arrow from here quick and grab a sword. Uh, it's only a wooden sword, but it will do for now. And yeah, then we then we can have the uh, the first game. And get back, leave me alone. <laughs> so all we need to do now is scatter. Uh, a few of these uh, flowers all over the place. So uh, if I go put them in, I need red and yellow. And then if I go and put these in position, and then everything is set to, to start. So remember, Squid, uh, you need to be judging. You need to make sure no one's cheating. Once someone leaves their base, they're not allowed to go back inside. And um, that goes red there. And then, yeah, once once someone wins, uh, you need to go up to the other person, Squid, and do a belly dance to signify to them. <laughs> right, so it's going to be a red one there and a yellow one there. And um, ow! And uh, then we go down here, and then this is red side, so I need a yellow flower uh, over here. And then I'm going to have to do another yellow flower uh, down on this side. So there's only going to be four. Originally, there was going to be six, uh, but we changed it. So there's now only four. So it's going to be uh, a little bit easier in order to win. So if you want to get up the top squid so you can uh, watch over and just make sure that neither of us are cheating. And then, Lee, if you go get over to the um, uh, get over to the red side, I'm going to be the yellow side, seeing as I am Stampy Cat. <laughs> Seems a bit more fitting. And we can go. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you've gone and uh, got everything out of your inventory. You need to be to the other side, Lee. Uh, you need to go and start. Uh, over on the uh, the red side, so I'm going to go and dump everything here apart from my uh, my wooden sword and my bow and arrow. And then when I pull this lever, uh, we're all going to be we're all going to be locked inside. So I'm going to get rid of that torch. Uh, Lee, is it Lee in position? Is he is he inside the flower pot? Uh, I think he's just down here putting down a side. I'm not sure what he's saying. I don't know whether uh, he was able to uh, to set his spawn or not. We need we need to start quickly though. Um, boots. Oh, he's telling me to take my boots off. <laughs> yeah, you need to be on the other side, Lee. You need to take off your your iron leggings as well. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure the iron boots weren't going to make that big of a difference. But that that is true though. That that is fair enough. I was wearing my uh, my iron boots, and you're on the wrong side, Lee. You need to go over to to the red side and then just dump all your stuff over there, and uh, then we're we're able to go and get started. Okay, what I might do as well, uh, while he's heading over there, is uh, go and turn off gamer tags as well, just to uh, just to make uh, that little bit more difficult. And then finally, we'll be able to start. Like I thought we were going to be ready ages ago, but uh, everything just seemed to be taking longer. So uh, how do I turn off? Again, okay, there we go. In-game gamer tags are now off. And so let me just go and check that Lee is ready and inside. Right, he's in there. He's ready. Make sure you got a sword and a bow and arrow. I'm going to now go and shut the gates. We are now both locked inside. We can't get up or go out the front. And the first game of Flower Power will begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Right, and the first thing I want to do is go and grab a red flower. That way, uh, the only way he can win is if he takes me out. And I think he's gone straight up to the top. And Squid, I said to get up the top. Like, Squid's just there, just standing in the middle of the arena. Right, I'm just going to go and grab both these flowers. So what I need to do is I need to get all of the yellow flowers uh, in order to win. And it looks like Lee's going very aggressive going after me. Oh, he's running with the sword. He's running with the sword. I oh, know he's got me really weak. He's got me really weak. I need to take him out. I didn't hit him like once then. Oh no, he's just got all of them. Right. Let's get a wooden sword. Let's go get a bow and arrow. I do not want to lose the first game of this. Right, okay. I've managed to grab, grab a red flower. Uh, so that way he's going to have to come after me. It's probably a bit harder as well because I'm saying constant commentary so he can hear everything that I'm doing. But it's okay. I managed to get one of the yellow ones. And the way it works, because... Uh, they're not allowed on top of your plant pot. Once you've put down your flowers, uh, then they're banked and there's nothing they can do about it. Oh no, no, Lee's seen me. Lee's coming after me. Right, time to have one of our bow and arrow fights. <laughs> right, I'm going to get after him. He doesn't know what to do. He's, he's there running back to his base. I think he's obviously got some of my flowers and he's going to try and put them in. If I go and try and take him out. I oh, know he's finally shooting back at me. He'll get a good shot on me. Right, I'm going to run over here and just make sure that I've got uh, two flowers down. So they're going to place them down and you need to go and pull the levers as well just to show that uh, they're lit up. There we go. I got two down. I need to get two more and I'm pretty sure that he's got them and oh no we're having a proper bow and arrow fight right I'm gonna get him I'm gonna take him out I think I might have hit him then I think I got quite a good shot on him oh this this is the fights I like I love these long range bow and arrow fights oh no he hit me he hit me he hurt me then right come on I gotta take him out right there we go I hit him again I hit him again I, th I think I've done more damage on him than he's done to me go on Lee poke out Poke out, you know you want to. <laughs> you know you want to. Is, is he hiding back there or is he gone? Oh, there he goes. He's just jumped out. Oh, he's just fallen off. That must have really hurt him. Right, I'm going in. I'm, I'm going in after him. Oh, he's got two flags up. He's got two of my flowers up. Oh, he's running up straight to me. There we go. I managed to take him out. And here we go. Here's the last two flowers. If I get these in, then I'm able to win. Run, 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 run. Come on. I'm so close, so close, so close. And it's in. And it's in. I've won, Lee. It's game over, Lee. <laughs> game over. <laughs> I managed to get all four. Four flowers. Come on, Squid. You're now going to do your belly dance in front of Lee just to, just to make it official. This is the only official way to say whether you've won or not. <laughs> there we go. There's his belly dance. <laughs> ah! 
Ow! Ow! That's a dangerous belly dance. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely hilarious. So the game isn't properly finished yet. Like, it's obviously still a bit messy and half-built flowers and all sorts over the place, but uh, hopefully that gave you a pretty good idea uh, of what it's going to be like uh, once we have finished it off. Well, it's pretty much there, to be honest. There's not really... And much else we need to do. And so in the next video, uh, we're going to have a few more games, but they won't be 1v1 games. We're going to have maybe uh, a few 2v2s or maybe some 4v4s. So we're going to have a little uh, mini flower power tournament, which should be uh, jolly good fun. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want to say a big thank you to Elfa Lee and Ballistic Squid uh, for helping me out. Well, mainly Lee, to be honest, because <laughs> Squid seemed to be mainly trolling, but <laughs> that's jolly good. And hopefully as well, by the next video, I would have found all of my dogs again. Uh, but that's the end now. So I want to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye!